Farm Hands. Farm Reef here, welcome back to the lab. So on this episode of the lab, we're gonna talk about uh, the sand sifting starfish. I have three right here, as you guys can see. So we're gonna place one in each tank. So what's so beneficial about these guys? Well, these uh, sand sifting starfish, what they do, they're really good for uh, eating up uh, detritus, um, leftover foods. Um, what I like about these, they actually, they burrow into your sand and they feed. Plus as they're burrowing, they keep uh, the sand you know, uh, rotate it so it keeps it, you know, looking really fresh and white and they clean it and makes uh, your tank a lot healthier so you don't have any leftover foods creating all these nitrates and phosphates in your tank. Um, so what you want to do here is when you're acclimating, do the drip, uh, the drip process, you know, try to take like an hour and a half or more, I find really works well. And plus when you're handling uh, these starfish, you don't want to put them into your tank, you know, take them out of the water. When you take them out of the water to the air, it really affects them, guys. So what I did here is I slowly, I did the drip process and I kept changing out the water. So what I can actually do is I can just put this little container with the starfish right into the tank so it never touches air, guys, because it, it can really harm them. All right, so what we have to do now is gotta place one in each tank and we're gonna learn a little bit of information about them, where they come from, um, which requirements they have, um, there's uh, different kinds of puffers that like to feed on these, so you don't want to have those puffers in your tank. And plus, if they're a slow-moving uh, starfish, you don't want to have anything that's going to bother them. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's place one in each tank and learn a little information about them. I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal. You guys can check them out before I put them in there, all right? All right, guys, so here's uh, the sand sitting starfish, as you guys can see. Um, we have two really nice uh, size ones here and just a little smaller one, but they're doing really well. So they're all acclimated up. I did about an hour and a half to the drip process. Make sure the salinity is the same and your temperature and you're good to go. But just don't let them get uh, touch the air. So I can place these ones right in the tank. Um, I fed them a little bit of Rod's food just to keep them happy. So you make sure they're feeding. They're feeding on it really well. So definitely a great addition to have to the tank, guys. All right, guys. So I got the sand sitting starfish right here. So we're going to place them in the tank. Um, we don't want them to let, let them touch the air. So we're just going to place them right in here. He's all acclimated. So we're just going to we're just going to let him go here. He'll flip over pretty fast. I'm going to bring you guys in so you guys can see him. He's floating to the bottom there now. All right, so there he is, guys. He's looking really well. I'm going to bring you guys in close. You guys can check him out. All right, guys. He's already starting to try to burrow down into the sand, as you guys can see. He's soon going to be gone. So some of the uh, requirements for this one, they like a 72 to about 78 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, definitely, they come from uh, the origins of uh, Fiji, Indonesia, Singapore, Solomon Islands. All right, he's almost gone, guys. Um, so these sand sea, look at, he's almost gone, guys. All right, gang, he's gone there now. So that was pretty fast. So right now, as he's under the sand, he's gonna, he's gonna feed as well. So a few uh, requirements for uh, these guys is uh, if there's not enough algae in here for them to feed, what's going to happen is they're going to burrow themselves and they're going to die and decay. So you got to make sure that there's lots of uh, different particles for them to feed on. So I'm going to be you know, feeding uh, Rod's food. So anything that's you know, floating around in there is definitely going to feed on it and feed on uh, the detritus as well. Um, like other invertebrates, these stars, um, there's some uh, different uh, puffers that like to feed on starfish. So you definitely don't want to get those ones in there. Um, they'll grow at about to two and a half inches to four inches. So they're definitely a great addition to have in the tank, guys. So let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna have to place these, uh, the other two over in the other tanks as well. All right, gang, so we're going to put the one in the Tata one right now. So I'm just placing them in. So hopefully we can, we're gonna watch them burrow down. All right, guys, so I dropped him in right now. He's trying to flip himself over. Pretty strong, as you guys can see. So it's probably not gonna take him very much time when he's gonna start burrowing himself. So you can see his little, uh, little tentacles there. He's slowly gonna keep burrowing himself into the sand. So as you guys can see that motion, how he's turning the sand over. So any end of the particles that are in the sand can come out and he'll feed on anything that's left over, any detritus, fish food, and waste. So he's almost gone. All right, so I got one more to put in uh, the Krypton tank. 
and uh, we'll have all three of them in the tanks. You guys uh, learned a little information about the, the sand sifting starfish. All three of them right now, they're all buried, or buried away. So they're doing their job. So it's great guys. They're going to be more of the maintenance keepers, just like all our shrimps, snails. They're all got important part to do on the reef. All right, gang. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You learned a little bit of information. Um, make sure if you guys can leave your comments below. If you guys would like to see anything or want to talk about a chat, definitely hit me up. I'm more than happy to uh, comment back. All right. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. If you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button. And we'll see what's coming up in time, guys. Thank you. Bye.